Hello and welcome to today's activity. My name is Tony Murphy and I'd like to do an activity with you with some very simple materials that hopefully you can find in your kitchen while you're at home. And I also have an assistant that's going to help me, but I'm not sure exactly where he is. Oh, sorry, I was just taking the elevator up. And your name is? Oh, my name is Seamus Murphy. I'm in the seventh grade and I go to Manhattan and Riddle School in Boulder, Colorado. And my name is Tony Murphy and I'm the director of the Globe Implementation Office, also here in Boulder, Colorado. Globe means global learning and observations to benefit the environment. It's an international science and education program that brings together students, scientists, teachers, and citizen scientists to collect and analyze earth science data that will help us all to understand the earth better. And the important piece is that this week, on April 22nd, GLOBE celebrated its 25th anniversary. Woo! Yay! So we have lots of data that you can look at on our website at www.globe.gov and also a number of activities just like the one that we're going to do today. And the one that we're going to do today is called uh, Water Detectives. And in Water Detectives, what we have is we have a number of different cups here with substances or materials mixed into regular tap water. And the purpose of the activity is to try to determine what those materials are or what those substances are. And Seamus is going to use his detective skills to really try to find out what those are. So he's going to start with cup number one, work all the way through cup number five, and try to figure out what indeed is mixed in with regular tap water. What so, do we need for this experiment? So what do we need for the experiment? Very good question. So we have a number of materials here at the side and Seamus is going to show you what each one of those is. We have a marker and some cups. Uh, we have some food coloring and some seltzer water, some, some uh, baking soda and then some vinegar and some black tea brew. Okay, so we're going to start with cup number one, and Seamus is going to go through that. Okay, so on your table, uh, which you can print out or you can make your own, uh, we have made our own, as you can see. So what you first want to do is you want to look at the substance. Let's say it looks like water, then you would put down A plus. And as you can see, this one looks like water. Then you would listen to it, see if it sounds like water, which it does. So that's another plus. Now let's smell it. Oh, that does not smell like water. So we put down an X, as you can clearly see. Next, does it feel like water? Yeah, it does. Next cup, let's see. It looks like water, so that's a plus. It Sounds like water, so that's another plus. Let's see, see if it smells like water. It smells like water. And it feels like water. So, so far, my guess for the first two is the vinegar for this one, and then the water for this one. On to cup three. It does not look like water. Let's see. It Sounds like water. It smells like water. And it feels like water. Now we're going on to the fourth one. Let's see. It does not look like water because it has like this sort of whitish consistency. Not whitish consistency. It looks kind of white. Um, so it does not look like water. Let's see. It sounds like water. It does not smell like water, but it feels like water. On to the fifth and final cup. Let's see. It does not look like water because of all those bubbles in it. Uh, next. So, let's see. So that's an X. Next, does it sound like water? No, it does not. I can hear stuff popping. See, does it smell like water? No, it does not. And let's see, does it feel like water? No. So my guess for the final three 
would be food coloring, baking soda, and seltzer water. All right, so now the detective is done, how do we find out the answers? Well, I think we can all agree that the food coloring is indeed what was mixed in with number three, which is what I did. So we'll lay that to the side. And then as Seamus said, you can see these large bubbles in glass number five and large bubbles like that generally indicate some carbonated source of water, which indeed the salsa water is. So we're going to lay that aside because that's what I put in number five. So we're down to these three, each of which look very like water and seem to be or could be water, except each has a different characteristic. This one evidently had a strong smell, as you saw from Seamus's reaction. Yeah. And from the side here, he said that there was kind of a whitey substance in it. So how would we test if indeed this one has vinegar in it and if this one has the baking soda, as he said. We could use pH. We could use pH. And what would we use to test pH? pH strips. We could use pH strips, but I don't have pH strips in my kitchen. I'm not sure if you would either. I don't have a pH meter either in my kitchen. So what could we use for that? Well, another thing that we could use is the brewed tea, black tea that we have. And so what we do with this is we have already mixed some black tea with water, just like all of these other substances. And now we're going to put some of the black tea also into the vinegar. Well, we don't or, know if don't, it's vinegar. Exactly. We don't know if it's vinegar yet. Oh, wow. It's so much lighter. Look at that. And you can see that it is indeed a much lighter color so than... what does that this. mean? Well, what that means is that... When you pour black tea into vinegar, it does indeed become a lighter shade of the black tea. And what does the lighter shades mean? So the lighter shade also means that it's an acidic substance. So we know that vinegar is acidic. I mixed the acidic vinegar in with the water and it indeed became a lighter color when we put the black tea into On your it. table, you can just put down an A for acidic. Okay. Should we try the regular water? Well, we don't know if it's regular water. And again, we don't know. There's the detective reminding me. Wow, it looks like it's the same. And it looks very similar, as you can see as well uh, in the color. So does that mean it's neutral? That means that it's exactly the same. So yes, indeed, it's regular tap water, which should be pretty close to neutral. So on your halo, you can put down an N. And then for our final, to see if it is the baking soda. It probably is. Wow, it's so much darker. So this, if you put it into um, basic substance, is to go darker. The tea goes darker. You may not be able to see it there, but we can clearly see from the surface here that this is indeed darker than the regular tea with regular water. So on your table you can put a B for a basic. A basic. So there's the detective, there are his results, and we have solved the mystery for what substances were in the water. Well I gotta go. I'm just gonna take the elevator down. Bye! And there goes my assistant. And thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the activity and that you'll do something like this with your kids at home. This activity and many others, as well as information about the GLOW program, can be found on the GLOW program website at www.globe.gov. And the activity and many others can also be found at the NASA at Home website. Thank you again for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe and stay healthy.